Hey you guys, it's your girl Pinky and I'm here with Meals by Nate, also known as Chef Nate. And we are cooking up something cool for you guys today. Today we're making a spaghetti squash. It's gonna be a little bit of asparagus, mushroom, bell peppers, and garlic in there. Tossing the basil pesto. The vegetarian way, right? Vegetarian, vegetarian way. way. Cause I newly found vegetarian. But anyways, so how long you been cooking, Chef Nate? Ooh, professionally like 10 years, but like honestly, my whole life. Ever, for as long as I can remember, yeah, about seven. Years. Why do you like to cook? Man, it just it brings joy to me, man. Like I'm from the country, I'm from Memphis, and all my family they're from Mississippi. Shout out to the county, really. <laughs> um, yeah, so all of them I'm used to Sundays. You know, we got Sunday dinner going, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Like it's somebody cooking. Like, it's always always something going on, and it's food in the center of that. So okay, hey. what's this right here? This right here is spaghetti squash. Um, it's real popular with vegetarians because if you like me, you love pasta. Um, this turns into spaghetti. It's the nice spaghetti squash. You pull it apart and it has a consistency of spaghetti noodles. So you think like regular pasta is bad versus this pasta? Like what's the difference you think? A lot of people don't want to do a lot of starch, especially vegetarians. Like if you're trying to eat healthy, you want to do a lot of starch. Mm -hmm. So pasta is starch. So you got this. It's a great pasta replacement. You know, you're trying to get away from the carbs and the starches and all that. Try you some spaghetti squash. Okay. So you like it. Spaghetti squash. We're gonna try it today. We're gonna try it. We're gonna see so what's on top? Um, so I put a little red, red pepper flakes on there because I love spice. A little bit of garlic, lemon, uh, lemon pepper, a little bit of salt. I use pink Himalayan salt. To me, it just has a better, better flavor to it. Pink Himalayan salt. Okay. Okay. Yes. So to get it like this, what should we do? Um, so you're gonna want to season it. Then I put a little coconut oil on there too, just to allow it to cook. A little bit faster, moisten up a little bit. So I uh, season it, put the coconut oil on there, rub it all in. I got my oven set at 450. So we're gonna pop those in the oven for about 45 minutes. When you pull them out, it'll be like four tender, pull them apart, and then we're gonna get a sauce going. Okay. Alright, so in our pan over here, we got um, got some coconut oil. I got that heating up right now. You don't wanna put it too hot. Coconut oil has a very high uh, smoke point though, so I mean it ain't gonna burn that quick. But so what are we gonna do with the coconut oil though? Like what's going in here? Oh, uh, we're gonna put the garlic in there first. You want the oil? Okay, we're gonna put the garlic in here first. We're gonna let that saute up just a little bit. Okay, so how much garlic should we put? Just like a little bit. I use about two tea two teaspoons. Or people, uh, if you really like garlic, you can use more. I love garlic, but garlic you don't so want to give awesome. it that much of a uh, garlicky taste because this one is actually going to have some basil pesto in it, and that has a lot of garlic. Okay, what, what is this? Basil oh, pesto. Oh, this is like the sauce, I guess? Yes, yes. It's going to be our pasta sauce. So we want to saute up our garlic just for about 30, 45 seconds. Let that start getting aromatic and everything. Start smelling that. I do. I smell, it smells really good. I love yes. garlic, especially the smell of garlic in your whole house. It's just the best feeling. All right, so once we get that garlic going for a little bit, we're we'll gonna throw our red bell peppers in there. I think uh, probably when I first got cable, I was like eight or nine. <laughs> yes, no, for real, TV. I was like eight or nine, and I found Food Network. I like stumbled upon Food Network, and this was like Emerald was popping mm -hmm. like hard. This was about like 2009, 2000. Right. Cash money was taking over. You feel me? <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so listen. Um, I started. I started watching Food Network all the time. I watched Emerald. We watched like Good Eats. Um, Got the one. Man, Food Samuels. Network really helped a lot of people. Out no, no, for real. Food Network. That was like a good time when Emerald, like you were saying, Emerald came out yeah. and like Charm City cakes and like all the cake decorating came out. So it did inspire me to oh, yeah. like want to be artistic and create stuff. So I can see how that inspired you. Oh, yes. Well, we're from the South, so. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a lot of Southern cooking, a lot of fried chicken, uh, definitely a lot of meatloaf, you 
you know, high, high carb, high fat stuff. So it's like now I'm getting older, I still enjoy, right. I, I still had a southern cooking, but I try to incorporate healthier versions of that. You know, I try to get away from doing like cabbage with neck bones and all this stuff, and I do some Brussels sprouts now. Right, Brussels yes. sprouts are good. Yes. But it's hard to to eat my Brussels sprouts without some bacon. Like I really love bacon yeah. with my Brussels sprouts. Yeah. If you haven't had it, she got you. Hey, no, for real, I got you. I get you a nice little little uh, honey soy Brussels sprout, put a little bacon in there. I'm gonna have to do that next time. Next time. Next time. Next time. Next time. <laughs> next time. Keep watching. Okay, so what's next? All right. So, um, you want to throw the mushrooms in there for me? Yes. Got us some mushrooms. Yeah. Little portobello mushrooms. Oh, you, don't be shy. I want to make it pretty. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to cook this up just for a little bit, about three or four minutes. Let that go on. Let it burn up. Let it do its thing. Yeah. Okay. That's so, what else do you do in your free time, Nay? Oh, man, I work. I work <laughs> all the time. You are cooking for people? Uh, yes, I, that a place? I do uh, my own catering, uh, meal prep, and uh, you know private dining and everything. I do that, but I also work at Yard House. So, y'all ever in Irving, Yard House, Los Feliz, come to see me. I got you. I got, I got you. you. I'm in the kitchen whipping it up all day. So, what's your like plans with your cooking? What do you want to do next? Is the big step or leap for meals by name? Well, I've always because I, I went to culinary school and my main focus was catering, uh, event planning, like um, large scale wise. I've stepped away from the large scale just a little bit or I do still want to do my catering but I'm now more focused on like artist catering. I've, I've cooked for uh, several rappers out here. Some more celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like um, green room catering because that was when I worked at House of Blues, that's the one thing that I noticed. We we did all the like artist riders and everything. So that whenever they come in, what they want to eat mm -hmm. and in their green room, you know, we do that. And it's cool, but most of the time it's just like wings and pizza and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so the celebrities just yeah, want wings. Like, and they just want like wings and pizza and it's like that's cool, that's quick. They got a huge entourage, so they don't Have you them. met like what's like the most famous person you met? Just through your cooking. Ooh. Um, I'd probably say Keeklock. I just met him last week. Okay. Um, yeah, he was in Dallas. Shout yeah. out to Keeklock. Shout out to Uh, Also, Sauce Walker. Yeah, Sauce Walker. Did you cook sauce. for them? Yes. Okay, uh, what they eat? I'm curious. Ooh, man, let's see. I cook for several members of the TSF. So, uh, <laughs> when I cook for Walk, they, I did them, uh, what did I do? Steak, it was steak, spinach pasta, Roasted potatoes. Ooh, I can't remember. That was last year. Uh, for Doughboy, I made him like a stuffed salmon. Man. Yeah, yeah stuffed, stuffed salmon. salmon with those Brussels sprouts. I'm telling you. Brussels I might sprouts. convert from vegetarian <laughs> just for that vegetarian. stuffed salmon. Uh, yeah, the stuffed salmon was good. And then uh, I cooked for uh, Rizzo and Peso. And okay. They just wanted some wings. But like I said, I'm Rizzo. Rizzo. Oh, Rizzo. Rizzo, Rizzo and uh, Peso. Uh, from TSF, so they wanted some wings. So I pulled up to the studio one <laughs> Made night. Made some bomb wings. Man, listen, I'm from Memphis. It's like right. the barbecue in the wing capital of the world. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. So, yeah, I came through with the honey gold and the honey hot. So, what's your food. Memphis staple? Like, what's your signature Memphis dish? Honey hot wings. Oh. Or honey gold wings. Either one of them, too. That like, sounds good. Don't give me that. That is, that is, that is, yeah, I mean, y'all good with the chicken, like Rudy's, and I, I feel that. But <laughs> don't hang on down. No, that, that is strip club though. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just say this, bro. Be live and DGs. That's bomb ass, bomb ass chicken. Do they wings. cook it in the in there in the facility? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got some bomb chicken wings, but ain't nothing touching me. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing touching me. I've never been. You got a deep You got a chicken coop, man. You got a uh -huh. man. Pretty much anywhere, like literally. Anywhere. So is there a lot of cooking coming out of Memphis? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Everybody cooks. Everybody cooks. I guess this is what we do in the South. Like, yes. This is what we do. Everybody cooks, man. The guys cook out there, man. Chicks, little kids be cooking. Like, yeah. You still got a lot of folks, you know, being brought up by their grandmas and stuff. You know, grandmas getting younger. Right. That's what I was going to ask. That was my cooking. next question. Like, how does your family feel about you cooking? Do they like it? Oh, man, my mama loves it. 
She gonna kill me for this, but she can't cook. <laughs> she oh, can't God. cook. Uh, I'm sorry, stop. mama. <laughs> uh, but uh, she can follow a recipe, but yeah. yeah. She's not, yeah. she doesn't have that touch. Yeah. So she loves that she can cook. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She, that's dope. I she bet, I bet that's chef. like every <laughs> mom's wish to have their own personal chef. Yeah, she, she loves it, she loves it. Make sure you check out Pinky's Picture Books. It's the new cool way to have your pictures in front of you and you can show them to everyone. Let's check on our squash. Oh wow. That looks good. It smells good too. Oh yeah, you gotta season up just right. Spaghetti squash. I'm trying to think if I've had this before. I definitely haven't had it by May. I mean, so you haven't had it then. I'm just gonna let you know that. I'm very okay. interested. So ahead. you're just pulling it apart now? Yes, yes. I'm checking to see how tender it is because you see, when you start to pull at the flesh, that's what it causes. Oh, it does squash. look like spaghetti. Yes, hmm. yes. So I'm gonna put that back in there for about five more minutes. Yeah, we're almost, long. yeah, we're almost there with it. About five more minutes. Like the the whiter part of it, cause that's the that's real hard. It's like the tree bark. Can't okay. really, can't taste it, can't chew through it. It's super. Right. Tough. I've seen a lot of people just only use the top of the asparagus in their meal. It's like you're wasting all of yeah, it. Yeah, it is. You get it like with all of that. So yeah, you're doing, you dropping all of that in there. Got that going. And we come over here real quick. I'm just gonna stir the snake. That's cool with you. Oh man, it's all good. Don't let me burn our meal though. No, no, no. That's why we got it on low. I cannot cook for anything. See, that's why we got it on low. I don't need you to burn nothing. Yeah, that's that's why we got it on low. Yeah, 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 that's why we got it on low. If I could be, if I could be Obama's like personal chef, then oh, my wow. life would just my life. Even though he's not in office anymore. Even though he's not in office, man, he's still in the office in my head, man. That's forever president right there. Shout, Shout out. out to Obama. <laughs> Shout out to Obama. You feel me? Uh, that that's that would be major. But honestly, my my true goal, I just want to touch everybody with my cooking. You feel me? I just want you know cooking. It it brings me joy, and I and I see a lot of times when I cook and when when people eat. Dang, that's good. And whatever mood that was going through before, right. like it completely changes it. She's not and, lying. And at that's all. and that's what I love. Man, fellas, y'all know y'all girl get mad, you tell her let's go get some food. Instantly changed her whole mood. She hangry. Instantly changed Us her whole girls have to eat. Like our athletes do. do be bad if we don't eat. And it's just cause we have to deal with so much stuff. But I mean Hey, it's life. It's life. But no. Them Brussels sprouts was to die for. I was just so glad that you came and cooked that day. Yeah. And see that's what and that's and that's what I love. Like, cause how long ago was that? Man, that was like forever ago. It was cold outside. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, that was like the end of last year. It was crazy. And just to hear like people still say just to hear you remember, like, dang, those Brussels sprouts are amazing. Like Cool. Right. And I didn't even know you. Yeah. And I didn't even know you were vegetarian. So that was just like I forgot. Look, no, I had, she had told me, and I had forgotten actually mm. to bring something. So I was like, you, oh, let so me. Yeah. You try to include vegetables in all your meals. Oh yeah, yeah. Everything, everything is gonna be. But if vegetable. you have like a customer just like I hate all vegetables. Don't even try it. I tell her, I tell her whatever the meal, the meal is that I'm gonna make. I tell her to whatever customer I'm doing. If you don't want veggies, hey. I'm gonna give you some veggies, but if you don't want them, I ain't gonna do it. So I mean, it's that's it. And that's what I do, like with my meal prep as well. I feel like 
it would be so easy for me to just be like, okay, cool, I got chicken, I got pork, I got fish, or whatever. I sit down and really talk to a person and see what they like, what they don't like, any food allergies they have, and I tailor a whole meal prep, a whole meal plan to them. Okay, so, so have you helped people lose weight just off your meal yes, plan? Yes, yes, yes. My When I first, first started doing meal prep for people other than myself and my mom, like I had two loyal customers, shout out Mia and Chloe, man, y'all are so cool. Um, I think they lost like 12 and 16 pounds. And they had used like their that. meal plan yeah. program and they yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah. They did it for like a month and, and they and they lost some weight. So I was I was just really happy about that. That's so. inspiring that you could help other people change their lives and still do what you love. Yeah, that's what it, that's that's I feel like that's what I'll put here for to just, you know, touch people. I don't, I don't like seeing people in a bad mood. That's why I'm always, every time you see me, I'm trying to joke. I'm, I'm cracking jokes or something. So it's like, I, I don't like people, to see people in bad moods. I don't like to see people down. So if I if I know I can do something to change that, I'm going to do whatever I can. You feel me? So. Right? So, yeah. No, you got it. I'm going to be a pro after this. I'm telling you. I'm I'm gonna, gonna, hey, I do cooking lessons too. Really? Yes. Yes, Man, okay. I need some of that. I definitely need cooking lessons. Like, I got you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up. My family just is like, don't even ask her to fix anything. Just no, we just, got no, it. Just no, just go get it. <laughs> We've got it. Bro. Order out. Your dash is made specifically for you. <laughs> and um, Postmates in favor. I deliver a lot. Of course, of course. I swear, Nate, you should just come and cook for me all day, every day. It will be the best. Listen, I am totally open. <laughs> Whenever I'm not at work at Yard House, you know, I am down to pull up. I'll pull up anywhere. I, like a lot of my clients now are like producers and stuff, so they got late, late night studio sessions. I get off at like 11.30, 11.45. That's right up your alley then. I pull up, I pull up, like, yeah, so. I try I try to make myself, I try to make myself available. I think the best advice that I've gotten from any chef is to always make yourself available. Like, if you're really trying to do this, if you're really trying to get yourself known, get, get your business off the ground, always make yourself available. Work with budgets, start now. Like, figure out a way to do it. And that's what I've been doing and it's opened so many doors for me. Do you have any other pieces of advice? Maybe like a word of your own, something you had to deal with that you just have, know? Have faith. Like have faith in yourself, for real, because everything ain't gonna go super fast. Like right. this started, I started this January 1st, 2018. And for six or seven months, I really didn't get nothing. Like, I, I make plays here and there. I got a few people hitting me up, but a lot of things I was doing for free. Right. Like, I was giving you away to, so you much have food. To do some free I was to giving away so much free food just to be like, all right, cool. I got some cards. Just but take definitely a picture know, with your card. Right. Yeah, definitely definitely know your work. Right. Definitely know your work. Ain't work because now I, I let folks know it ain't. I can't do nothing else for free, and, and they respect it. Like your they, business. Yeah, they 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 respect it, and it's like. I still work with your budget. I figure out what we can do. Maybe you can't get a so whole, you can't get a whole meal, but I got you on something. Be available, be flexible. Yeah. Just and have faith. Take that, take that leap out on faith and don't, don't, don't worry if it's slow rolling because it's going to happen. Everything happen on time. Okay. Oh, yeah. So what's next? Oh, yeah. All right. So do you see yourself like owning a restaurant or no, that's not really your thing? A restaurant, not so much. It's just the like the politics and so much behind having a brick and mortar building. Mm -hmm. I get a space that I can do cooking out of like a, a larger commercial kitchen or just like rent out a, a space just to do my catering jobs at. But as far as getting like a full, a full restaurant, no. What happened to your gloves? Oh, I got some. I got some over there. This is hot. Those are gonna melt if I put that on. Here. That is true. I dare you put yours. No, I'm okay. not okay. Oh, I'm just saying. She trying to burn me off. Never. Wow, it looks way different than before, though. Yes. What a difference that time made in the oven. See. 
Pull it out and put it right in that pan. Oh! I always wonder who was the first person to do this. Like, who Man, thought, like seriously, who thought to pull this stuff apart? <laughs> stuff out and just make noodles out of it. Like for real. <laughs> Have you created like any weird or just like really good but not normal combinations of food? Like just with trying your recipes and stuff? Um, yeah, actually, no, nah, no, nah, for real. Uh, this dish, I, it's, it's on my Instagram. It's like one of the biggest like ones that I have on there. It's a whiskey shrimp pasta. Wow. So at my job, we had some uh, whiskey glaze for a seasonal menu. And we were getting rid of it. And I'm, I'm cheap. I love bargain, and every giveaway gallon size jugs of it. So Why I was not? like, yeah, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and grab me one of these. And so I was thinking, like, dang, what can I do? What can I do? So I was still at work, and I was like, they got everything to make something here. So mm -hmm. let me try something here before I take this home and mess up. I think that's <laughs> pretty cool that you still let people know you have a regular job and you're still doing your oh, business yeah. because oh, yeah. a lot of the times people think you can just jump into this and just quit your no, job no no it's gonna work really fast and that's not always yeah that's not that's definitely not always the case and then you got to think about it i'm not the only person that had this idea to cook Right. It's so many different chefs that I know of just in Dallas alone. Mm -hmm. And like in Memphis, it's so many people doing the same thing. But it's just how you promote yourself. Honestly, it's all about who you know. It's all about who you know. Um, I'm gonna stir this, I feel like it's just like sitting there. Smelling good, burning up. It's not burning. I told you, we got it on low. I already <laughs> asparagus though. It's not nah, so for good. real. So how do you, like, what advice would you give someone who's working their day job and trying to do their business at the same time? Like, what would you tell them? Be very, like, be very open with your managers. Like, honestly, be be 100 with them about everything. Like, with this, this morning, I was at work. Like, I had to go in this morning. But I told them, listen, I got to I gotta leave by, like, 9.30. I got, I got this to do. And they respect the fact that I tell them. I let them know ahead of time. Right. It's like just be honest with them. Don't be like, ah, oh, man, I can't come in. I'm sick, and then they mess around watch YouTube and they see me on here like, you wasn't sick. You was on the pinky the show. <laughs> like, what were you doing? <laughs> so it's like, yeah, just just be 100 with them. Just let them know, and hopefully you got the cool management that I got, and they 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 respect it, and they and they really you know they support me. Do you think it's better to have a, a day job in the field that you want to pursue or just it, get the money and get out? Honestly, it all depends. It, it really all depends. Um, I've done every part of the service industry. Mm -hmm. uh, before I got the job at Yard House, I was serving. But uh, when I went for an interview at Yard House, they, they convinced me to get back in the kitchen. So I went out here and did that. And uh, yeah, but it, it, it all depends like what you want to do. You can want to be a real estate agent and it don't really, really matter what, what field you're working in. It, as get long as you money. got some money, you know, to get, get, you, to get your house or something and sell that house. I mean, hey, just have the time. Right. Just have the time to invest in yourself and still keep that time to relax and chill. Like, because it's, it's, it's stressful. Working in the kitchen is stressful. And then working in the kitchen for yourself, trying to build a business and, and working and about, a day job and yes, working in the yeah, it's it's super stressful. Right. But it's like I got a good support system with my with my friends and like my mom and stuff, and so and I know how to don't bite off too much. Don't 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 bite too much. I like don't over go overboard with it. Like yeah, you can say no. It's cool to say no sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like if somebody like oh can you come cater for 150 people? No. You can't do that by no, yourself. I can't do it. It's only me. <laughs> I can't do it. And unfortunately, the other day I had a, a video shoot, but I couldn't make it. I had to go to work. And 
It's like, man, that's guaranteed money right there. As opposed to, yeah, I could cook for y'all this one time, but they got me on payroll. Right. So it's like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta understand when to say no and, and when it's okay to say no and just. Okay. Yeah. What's next? All right. So we got our asparagus. They are nice and soft. We're gonna add the pesto? Yes, we're gonna add our pesto. Then we're gonna take the spaghetti. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Throw it in there. Mix it all together. Another thing about being a real chef like Measure. You no longer need to measure. No, it's like, yes, you know. I've done this for so long, like I know what stuff tastes like. And I know I yeah, basically that's that's enough base strong, but ooh, yeah, okay, but you got all this asparagus in there too, you wanna kinda balance out those flavors. I got that garlic in there too. And these, it's got a nice flavor on its own, but you wanna give it that full body stuff. So. Right. Yeah. You know okay. Right? So we've added the pesto after the asparagus is softened up. Yeah. We've uh, scraped our spaghetti. Scraped the inside of that. You wanna grab this? This is very hot, so be careful when you're doing this at home. My hands are like steel. <laughs> Done this quite a few. I 
really like this. I'm gonna oh, have to good, make this. It's a real good flavor. And I don't like it when the asparagus are like too, too soft. So I'm, it's just it's just perfect. I'm so glad you put that cheese on the end though. Cheese definitely adds the finishing touch to everything. Cheese is the best. Like, no offense to vegans, I just don't understand how y'all do it. No cheese? And vegan, I've tried vegan cheese. It's not the same taste like cardboard. This is really good, Nay. Really good flavors. Really great. I like it. Meals by Nay, you guys. It's a winner. Well, we're going to sign off. Thank you so much for coming out to the Pinky to Show. Hopefully we'll see more of you, Meals by Nay. Oh, definitely, definitely. Y'all check her out.